Hello, this is Tofan Trifold Productions with another Blender quick tip. And then this quick tip, I'm going to show you how you can easily apply rain and snow and lightning to any scene in Blender by using the weathered add-on. I've done a, lo a lot of weather-based add-ons uh, throughout the years. This one is a little bit more direct, not as many features in terms of changing the way uh, the weather interacts in your scene, but it gets the job done. It's not free. It's $9.99. It works in Blender 4.0 to 4.4 and it renders in even cycles and obviously cycles is better but we'll stick with Eevee for the tutorial They can get the better quicker uh, view of what's going on with the add-on it's got a couple of uh, things that I want to point out with as we go on but this is like an introduction to the add-on uh, but I'll, I'll leave a link of it below the video so you can try it out for yourselves and that when you download it and I'm also using Blender 4.1 for this tutorial and once you've downloaded it onto your system, the installation process is still the same. Just go to Edit, Preferences, click on Install, navigate where you've downloaded that zip file, click on it, click on Install Add-on, and it should be installed in Blender. Let me type it in here. There it is, Weather It, and put a check in the box, and then it's ready to go. Now it's on the right-hand side of the UI, and it's got Add Rain, Add Ground, Add Snow, Add Snow Ground, add lightning and add fog now the add rain ground and add snow ground for some reason it just doesn't seem to work I don't know if it's the I don't know what it is but I've looked for documentation in blender or online to see how to act, have those activated and I can't see or find anything but for the fact that it does provide rain and snow and lightning in your scenes dynamically that's pretty great but like I said before this is just an intro to the add-on uh, but we'll keep our scene kind of the same. Let's make it, it, well, let's keep it the same. And like I said before, it renders an even in cycles, but we'll stick with Eevee. So let's change our viewport here. Click on that to change the way the viewport looks. And all you have to do is just click on Add Rain. And there's your rain. Let's click on the rain particles and we press play on our keyboard. See the rain's falling, which is nice. Um, and the same thing with Add Snow. Now you can't really change you don't see any parameters that come out that you can change. And the good thing about it is that the rain and the snow, they come uh, already textured. The rain is translucent or transparent in some aspects. And the snow is a bluish white, so that helps. And even though you, it doesn't have any parameters that pop out, you can adjust. You can adjust it physically. Just select that rain like we just did and click on Rotate Gizmo. And then you can tilt the rain. Press play, now it falls at an angle. Now, as you can tell, there are no splashes on the cube. So it doesn't seem to interact with objects in Blender. But like I said before, there's just an intro to it. So it's not bad. Now let's check out the uh, let's check out the snow and the lightning and the fog. So I'm gonna start a new scene again. And it's always good to start a new scene sometimes. That way Blender doesn't have issues and start to crash. We'll pop out the add-on once again and let's do lightning change our viewport and click on add lightning and then as we zoom or scroll over the lightning's there and it's also textured which is great when you play it's, it's already animated when you play on your uh, press play the lightning flashes these are just the lighting is, are just images on a PNG plane, so why it looks like this. It needs time to kind of render out. But once it renders out, you have your lightning. So you have lightning flashes automatically happening in your scene, which is cool. So this, the lightning part works great. I, I like the lightning part a lot. The next thing I want to do is check out the fog. Add fog. Once again, new scene. General. Don't save. And let's go back to the add-on, whether it's. Change our render viewport there and click on add fog. And I think the fog, let's give it some time to, there it is. And that's this, is, I think this is also animated. We press play. And it's not animated, but it's there. You can see the fog there. Once again, it does render out in cycles also. It might come out a little bit better looking in cycles. But for the fact that it's in uh, Eevee, it still looks great. So it's a good add-on. It supplies fog and lightning and snow. 
And with the snow, it's pretty much just tilting it like we did with the uh, the rain. If we click on Add Snow, see our snow there, and it comes down already animated also. Just flutters down like that, which is good. Once again, you can just physically change it, have it selected like this. Click on that snow again. So let's, let me change our viewport here. Whoa. Oh, that's why it's not activating. We're outside of the cube. So once the fog is rendered, it renders the volumetric fog inside of the cube, which is understandable. When we click on our snow, once again, if you want to change the uh, direction of how it falls, press R on your keyboard, and you just move your cursor around. It changes the direction of the snow. So yeah, overall, in general, it's a great add-on. Like I mentioned before, I'd have to see if, I, if there is any doc documentation at all when it comes to adding snow to the ground and adding rain to the ground. But other than that, adding rain, adding snow, lightning, fog, all that works great. And it's ready out of the box. No issues at all with, with it in terms of the, of the movement of the rain and of the snow, uh, lightning and the fog, it all works great. So if you want to have a scene where you're not really pointing anything towards the ground, you just want a scene where you're just looking straight into a city or a landscape and the rain's coming down, the snow's coming down, this works great. Yeah, so guys, you guys can try it out. This is today's Blender Quick Tip. The weather add-on, great add-on. And for the price, it's not that bad. And I hope you guys have learned something from watching the tutorial. Once again, like and subscribe, and I'll see you guys on the next one. All right, adios.